we run a Holstein Frisian autumn block calving herd. Calving commences at the beginning of September. We're expecting about 80 out of 120 calves to be born within four weeks. We are currently in the process of getting everything ready for all these babies arriving. We selected our top heifers and cows to be AI'd with six semen to produce our 40 replacement heifers. The rest of the calves will be Aberdeen Angus beef bread calves that will hopefully be sold around four to five weeks of age. Cows get dried off around six weeks pre-calving. Selective dry cow therapy is implemented where a teat sealant only is used for the majority of the herd but high cell count animals receive an antibiotic tube as well. About 20% of the herd receive antibiotics to minimise mastitis risk. To avoid introducing infection into the teat, we try to be as sterile as possible. Cows are dipped with a pre-milking disinfectant. This is left on for at least 30 seconds to allow it to work and then wiped clean. Surgical spirits and cotton wool balls are then used to deep clean the teats with extra care taken to clean the teat ends. The sealant tube is then carefully infused into each quarter. A new pair of gloves is used for every cow to prevent any contamination. All cows are then dipped using a barrier teat disinfectant to help prevent any bacteria from entering. Cows are left to stand for half an hour or so until the teat canal closes. Any cows carrying heifer calves also get vaccinated at dry off against rotavirus, coronavirus and E. coli. Baby calves are very susceptible to these specific scar causing pathogens especially during the first month of life. Their immune system isn't fully developed yet. Therefore, vaccinating should boost these antibodies in the colostrum and help to prevent scars during the first weeks of life. Timing of this vaccine is very important as colostrum starts to be formed at around five weeks prior to calving. Therefore, we must give the cow enough time to mount a response to the vaccine and pass these antibodies into her colostrum. So about six to eight weeks pre-calving is the ideal time to administer the vaccine. Post dry off, cows are put out on standing hay for two weeks along with the in-calf heifers. At one month off calving, they will be housed and fed their close up dry cow diet. These heifers were born back in September 2022 and are on target to calve down at 24 months. They have been out since early April and every two weeks, Stockholm tar is applied to their udders and tails. They're all wearing fly tags and receive a drench to reduce flies for the prevention of summer mastitis. So the calvin pens have been cleaned out and now power washed to remove any excess muck. They are then sanitised using a heavy duty disinfectant for the management of coccidiosis, crypto and E. coli. This is to prevent any carryover of bugs which may have built up during calvin season last year. Cows can be carriers but show no symptoms as they are already immune to these bugs. However, the baby calf can become contaminated and cause scar in their first week of life. It is extremely important that newborn calves arrive into a hygienic environment as they have zero immunity to disease until they receive their first feed of colostrum. Calving pens will be left to rest then straw bedded prior to calving to make it as clean and comfortable as possible for the cows. <laughs> 